Hey, this is Carol with Goblin House. It's almost the Halloween haunting season. We are here tonight at Dead Man's Farm in Lenore City, right outside of West Knoxville, Tennessee. And I'm here with the owner of this parcel of land, Jeff. And he is going to tell us a little bit about it tonight. Now, I've heard that some crazy things have happened out here, maybe even that it's really haunted. We have had several people who have mentioned that they hear things moving. Um, we've had people who are working here at night and they hear someone walk up behind them. Um, they'll turn around to address someone and nobody's there. So we've had that happen several times. Then we invited two paranormal groups to come out and investigate us. Um, each of them have heard things on the audio tapes. Um, they have collected things on the videotapes that they've called me back later and said that they can hear voices. Specifically, they hear someone saying, hey, in three of the separate buildings. Now, your, fa your family has owned this land for a while, but before your family owned it, there was another family who lived here. Yes, that was the Bludgeon family. The Bludgeon family lived here, um, and they did everything here. They had their farm hands, um, they did their own slaughtering, they had their own dentistry, they did all their stuff here, and they never really left this property. A lot of people in the area had never heard of them. Um, the few witnesses that still recall what happened noticed that things started to turn bad on the farm. Um, they were having some hard times, and it, from witness reports, the family turned to black magic. And when they turned to black magic, they got into voodoo, they got into a, a little bit of that stuff, more stuff than I understand. Uh, when they did that, um, we know that they've done some experiments on their animals, they did some experiments on their crops, and eventually things turned bad with even the farmhands. Um, the property was foreclosed on because things turned bad and they couldn't turn it around. When police reports uh, started popping up, they came out here to investigate, and what they found was a really gruesome scene of, of bodies and blood and gore and, and creatures that they couldn't really explain. And the county has opened up the farm again. Um, and we're trying to bring people in to pay um, a tribute to those victims who have died here. Sounds like a great time. So. I've heard that you're doing this for a great cause this year too, letting people into your farm. We are. We're benefiting the Loudoun County Volunteer Fire and Rescue Squad. Um, they're an all-volunteer organization here in the county, so we're trying to get back. Great. Now, how big is the farm? The farm is actually 30 acres. Um, this year, we are simply doing the haunted house. We've got um, 5,000 square feet with the haunted house. Um, also, we're going to be doing, we've got a fire pit over here um, that we're going to be doing every night. We're going to have concession stands out here, so we're going to have something for everybody. Great. Um, now, how many lunatics on any given night do you think roam this area? Typically, we're going to be having probably about 25 out here every night uh, that are going to be here to um, greet the customers. Okay. <laughs> Now, when I was a kid, I was about five when I went to my first haunted house, um, they did not take it easy on me. It was full on gore, um, screaming, one of the worst and best experiences of my life. I remember it to this day. Is it going to be that kind of action here? Do you want people to pee their pants or is there an age requirement? There is there is not an age requirement. We're not doing one, but we're asking that parents please be considerate of the children that they have. Um, we won't be toning it down. Um, that, that's the big thing is we've got a lot of special effects. Um, we've got a lot of lighting. We've got a lot of sound equipment, and we've got a lot of things that simply can't be toned down just by the actors. Also, just in case when people come in through, this is going to be our ticket booth, and we're actually going to be selling um, new underwear. And for those people, it's a little pricey. We're going to be selling slightly used underwear for a little bit less price. Alrighty. So you're not toning it down. No. Do not bring your two-year-olds out here and then expect no. them to not scare your two-year-old. It's no. not happening. We do no refunds. Alrighty. Um, well, Shrub and I actually went through the haunt area tonight. It is looking particularly creepy and gruesome. Um, we're very excited about this opening in the Knoxville area. This is just what we needed this year. So make sure to come out and check it out this year. Um, you're opening on October 2nd. October 2nd. Alrighty. And uh, I'm sure that'll start at dark. Yes. That is the official start of the hunting season out at Dead Man's Farm in Lenore City, right outside Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Jeff? Um, no, that's it. Alrighty. Thank you All right. very much, and we will see you out here. Come see us at Dead Man's Farm. We open October 2nd. We're going to be here all night long.